So moving on, now you have all these pages, and what you see here, I'm going to switch to index, is you have this navigational bar right here. It has your home, about, contact, contact us, and services. And this is the navigational bar that your template was created with your template. If you want to use this or alter this, you can by double-clicking it. And then right here, you'll bring up this little box. And you can see that the first box is the first button. It's the index page. And that index is what we have on the side here. I, or they titled it For Us Home. You can change that to whatever you want, index or my page or whatever you want to call it. I generally use the home. Uh, the about page will be the next button you can see right here. And that is called the about us. We can change it to about. There we go. We can change contact us. See, you see a change down here if we want to contact us. And then if I want to move a button, let's say I want to take this about page and move it to the bottom, you can just use these arrows. Now you can see about move to the last spot. And then you can also customize it and change it. If you want a vertical bar like this and put it on the side, or you want a horizontal. If you want to customize it, you can change the fonts here. Whatever you want. You can change the size and the color. Let's make it black. You hit okay. Now this is what the new one's gonna look like. I don't want to really make any of these changes. When you're done, you just click OK. But now let's say you want to create your own navigational bar. What you can do is you can delete this. If you don't like the one they gave you, just click on anything you want to delete. You just click on it and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Now if you want to insert a navigational bar and it's going to be stored in this folder right here, you're going to go to insert and you're going to go down to navigational bar. Now you can see we have the one they created, which you can see right here on the side, or we can create a new navigational bar ourselves. So we can do that. There we go. Now we select what pages we want in the navigational bar. Let's say we want the index, which is the home. We want the picture page and the contact page. So now you're making a, uh, a your own navigational bar. You can see it down here. Let's make it horizontal. And uh, we name this home, pictures, and let's change this to contact us. So now we want to customize it. We can go to customize, and you can pick these themes here for custom. Switch right between them. So with, when you've downloaded all these templates, you'll see there's a ton. Let's say we wanted this one here. We can switch the color to something a little darker. Now you can see that a little better. So you have your different options. You just go right down this menu, just checking out different bars. So it's really easy to do. There's a bunch in there. You can kind of see how they look. And when you're done, you got to give it a name. So let's say new nav bar. Call it whatever you want, whatever you're going to remember it by and click OK. Now it's going to ask you if you want to add it to the current page or all the pages and then there's an open and advanced navigational bar there, which you won't need to do. Just add, if you want it on every one of your pages just click add to linked pages. There we go we have our navigational bar. It's been added to our website. So there we go we have it here it's going to be on the picture page and the contact page. One thing you can do too if you want them to all be in the same spot is you can just click it. Let's say you let's delete this one here. Put it where you want it. Click it and hit the copy button. You can do this with anything. Pictures, text, header, backgrounds. See this is the background of my template. I can move this. I can delete it. So forth. Just copy it. If that's where I want the location, copy that and go to the About Us page. Right click and paste. Or go to Edit and Paste. Now it's in the exact same spot it is on the Contact Us page on the About Us page. So you can see that. So that's how you create your very own navigational box.